Hello, I'm the atheist gamer, and... Wait a minute. Something... Something's not right. Is this a... Is this a mask? Oh no. Oh, my voice! You hear that? It's changed! No! 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 Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh no! My, my criticism, the criticism I'm, I'm making, oh, he's not becoming valid because I'm wearing a mask. Oh, oh God! Oh, oh God! Oh God! Oh, oh wait, wait, wait a minute! I just remember wearing a fucking mask doesn't invalidate your fucking criticism. But according to Brett Keane, Hollywood. Apparently, it fucking does. Brett Keen. I had my eye on this guy for a long ass time. Just waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting until this moron makes a video that I just can't help but make. Alright, Brett Keen Hollywood. It's time that we met face to face. Let me just get rid of this mask. Get rid of this jacket. And now to change my voice back to normal. <coughs> now here I am, I even got rid of the green screen. Because, you know, I don't want to be all fancy Nancy. You know, just me, my microphone, and my laptop. So, Brett Keen, what have you gained from seeing my face? Hmm? Nothing. Th that's it. Just nothing. And it will go the exact same result if you saw Girl Does Rant, The Frost Reviews, Legio Le Lo Logic Pit? I can't pronounce that name. I must destroy all. I combust you all. Um, who else? Chicken doodle sauce. What else? Uh, I don't know that many anonymous YouTubers. Yeah, I've been living under a fucking rock, but whatever. At least I'm not like you, Brett Keen. You know, complaining about somebody wearing a fucking mask. All right. For the majority of this video, I won't be showing you my face. Instead, I'll just use and uh, just use most. I mean, just use audio clips or whatever. <laughs> I mean, I could do the same thing like you do, Red King. You know, just show your face for like about I don't know a minute and a half, and then the rest you just show one picture and doing a voiceover. Yeah, I could do that too, you dumbass. So. Let's, you know, I, 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 I don't normally play the White Knight. Um, but um, in this case, I will. Because what you're just saying is utterly ridiculous, Brett Keen. And I'm going to have fun making this video. <sighs> so I'm going to be defending Girl Does Rant. Because, you know, she gave me a shout-out. And, you know, me, me and her, we're, we're good friends. I find her to be quite attractive. If you know what I mean. So, let's... Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Brett Keen from the YouTube channel Brett Keen Hollywood. Inventor Gorilla recently in a Google Hangout gave me a link to check out this particular atheist YouTuber. As most of you know that have seen atheists on YouTube, they claim to be rational, logical people. However, um, when you listen to them, it's almost like listening to a juvenile or some kind of rebellious person or old person who didn't enjoy their job. So they just simply seem to be like an angry, pissed off goat constantly. Just so much attitude and rage. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, very funny, Brett Keen. Very funny. <sighs> I know I said I wasn't going to show my face, you know, for this video, but you know what? Just for this 
this is probably going to be the last last time I'm going to show my face. Uh, man, Brackeen, you you are truly a clown. I'll give you that. The particular individual is wearing a mask, and as you can see in both videos this individual has made, they literally feel the desire to put their breast out there. And the reason why they put their breast out on the screen like that is because they know that they don't have a strong enough or solid argument to be able to attract or get the attention of people. However, at the same time in her video, she calls people retards of religion. But she's literally sitting here speaking with a voice modulator that makes her sound like Mickey Mouse. And then she's got a mask on her head and just a lot of mockery. I doubt that you've watched any of her videos, or you have, but not paid attention to it. She did state in the video that this only applies to those who have taken the Bible to extreme measures. And yes, she was critical of the Bible and the idea of God, but not did not bash those who just believe in God and do not do any harm. Yes, her words are a bit harsh, but not every word you expect should sound as nice as possible. Now, how are we going to sit here and actually accept that she's a rational, logical person when she can't present a good argument and she has to put a voice modulator on her voice. Again, I doubt that you have watched any of her videos. You're just saying that because you can't refute her. You've done the same thing with other YouTubers such as the Frost Reviews. And then she turns around and has to put her breast on the screen and then on top of that wear a fucking mask. Seriously? I mean, ridiculous. Does anybody actually take atheists serious anymore? Does anybody take you on seriously? Because what I see here is a big joke. You are complaining about someone on YouTube wearing a mask, showing her breast, and you're, and you're like, oh, she's not, you know, presenting any arguments. She's just bashing people and blah, 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 blah. Yet you haven't watched any of her videos or you have but didn't pay any attention whatsoever i have and i have to say she has made some valid points valid points that you can attempt to refute look at all these people they're sellouts they're you know just people who rant and rave and all that kind of shit and whine and cry all the time oh i didn't get what i wanted blah 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 her biggest argument in the entire video, let me cut it down for you so you don't have to sit through 10 minutes of her bullshit and listen to that squeaky voice modulator and stupid movements she makes trying to act cool. What we're dealing with is a person who says, there's things bad in religion, therefore this equals out that God doesn't exist. The usual bullshit argument of atheist. That's not even close. Here's some advice. Instead of misquoting people, how about you play a clip of her video to prove her wrong? I know you can do it. Hell, I can do it, and I don't even have internet at my own home. What you are doing is pure laziness. You refuse to play a clip of her because you can't refute her, and not because you want to spare your fans, if you even have any, of hearing her voice. Yes, I admit her voice can be a little bit annoying, but I can still understand her arguments. If someone wants to make a video on me with a high-pitched voice, I will still play the clip, even though it may be annoying. Now, as for the part of her arguments, this shows that you have not been paying attention. Here's a small clip from that video. But before I go on, let me tell you all a bit about myself. At present, I'm an atheist. I spent most of my early life as a hand-me-down Christian. You know, one of those Christians growing up in a family of other Christians. But aside from those weekly Sunday playdates, I never really followed the doctrine. Never prayed outside of church, never read the Bible, never subscribed to the beliefs. In short, I did not have Jesus in my heart. And I was okay with that. I had my own moral code, and I never needed a book or God to tell me in my heart what was right or wrong. Also, church was just fucking boring. Although, those wafers were pretty nice. I could eat a box of those. Nowadays, I do not personally believe. I don't consider myself so egotistical as to lean in one direction or the other militarily. And so, as you choose not to be a bigoted piece of crap, I won't condemn you for your beliefs. I will be critical of them, sure. I might poke some fun at them, yes. I'm under no obligation to respect your beliefs. Automatic respect should not exist. And would you rather not be respected for the human being you are than for the holy dick you suck? And I will definitely question them.
all things should be questioned. And as soon as anyone tells you that you cannot or should not, you ought run very fast in the opposite direction. That is control, that is manipulation. And like Christianity, manipulation is neatly built on a foundation of fear. And I admit, I'd be willing to believe that there is something out there. Something so out of our human understanding that we might label God. I mean, hell, if we're good at anything, we're good at labels. But I don't think he wrote a book. I don't think he, or it, really, gives a shit about who is fucking who and what ass. Or how many times you've fallen on your knees and begged to be spared that old hellfire. And that's like the same level of thought that might assume a spacefaring species comes around just to stick things up your butt. It's insulting to what is likely a higher intelligence. And if this higher intelligence does have some kind of plan for a little old humanity, rest assured, it has nothing to do with a boogeyman that is man-made religion. We might have religion to develop spiritually at best. Maybe to help steer us in good direction during old times of chaos. But nowadays, it's a bit fucking ridiculous. So her argument is not that there's stupid shit in the world, therefore God does not exist, but rather the things that people sue or say about a certain type of God is questionable, such as telling children that they're going straight to hell if they don't worship God, or hating on gays because what the Bible says, or praying to God to heal sick children and not taking them to the hospital to treat them. All this shit is questioned. This does not mean that God cannot exist because we have yet to discover everything, and being an atheist does not mean that we know God doesn't exist, but rather we just don't believe. For all we know, the universe could have been created by giant spiders. The problem is, is that there's many young people, whenever they sit down at a table and mommy or daddy gives them broccoli, they may put the broccoli in their mouth and find out that they don't like the taste of broccoli, that they don't like the way the texture is, that broccoli, for some people, are is wonderful, it's great, it's fine for the body, good. For some people, broccoli is shit, you don't want to even look at it, you don't even want to visualize it or imagine it. So be it, fine, wonderful, but that doesn't mean that the broccoli doesn't exist simply because you don't like the texture of the broccoli or like the taste of it or enjoy participating in broccoli. You do realize you're comparing something that does in fact exist to something that may or may not exist whatsoever. Your argument fails so fucking hard. I mean, it literally falls so hard and it's been done so many times that it cracks the pavement in front of me it's disgusting you've been owned you've been burned you've been spanked now put your goddamn shirt back on and get the fuck out of my face you've been owned peace out ladies and gentlemen you've been listening to brett king from the youtube channel brett king hollywood well son i proved you and your fans to be wrong i played a clip from her video and you haven't you made a three minute video on another video that's over 11 minutes long and all you have done is try to put it in a nutshell and fail to the extreme. You complain about how she's wearing a mask and showing off her boobs like Megan Speaks, but unlike Megan Speaks, she does not use them to leech out of other YouTubers just by saying, look at this, look at this. The majority of your video is you crying about her appearance and how anonymous YouTubers are such cowards by hiding behind a mask. You, sir, are one sad person. You got in your ass bang. You lost the game. You failed. You are a disappointment to humanity. I have beaten you by showing clips from her video to prove you wrong. You have been humiliated. It's time for you to change your diapers and do it again. But this time, show the clips and don't be a lazy asshole. If I was mis I must destroy all, I would have said you've been destroyed. If I was combust you all. I would have said, you've been combusted. If I was the old Spice Bear, I would have said, what? If this was Team Fortress 2, I would have dominated you so many times. I would throw Gerardi at you and taunt you every time you die. If this was Halo, I would teabag you. You have failed to the extreme. Have a nice day, sir. I am the Atheist Gamer, and this is just the beginning.